Wah, 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 wah. What's up? It's Fletch with Fletch Films. Yes, I am driving to work. I have got no time, folks. I got no time. Um, it's Black Friday. Um, going to sell some cars, but Skeleton Crew. That's what we need to talk about, folks. I am worried. I mean, whoo! I mean, I was four years old. I was born in 1973, and then 77. You know, when the original Star Wars film came out, let's be honest, folks, it was revolutionary. The, all that hype, all that revolutionary stuff, people were blown away. And it's just been watered down, watered down more and more. I have got high hopes. I really want this Skeleton Crew to be a good show. After the bad taste of the Acolyte, dear God, um, yeah. So, the one thing we got, uh, I don't know if there's gonna be what other YouTubers are calling member berries that just, they're really going for this 80s vibe. Uh, if they nail it, they nail it. it, it, it Urkel, okay, so number one, I, little spoiler alert. Uh, and so, you know, even when they threw in Jack Black in uh, Mandalorian, it, it kind of took you out of it. So I'm worried about Urkel. If he's just a quick cameo, then that's great. And then um, uh, Jude Law, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. He is a great actor. He is really passionate uh, from what I've seen about the uh, Star Wars fan, fan base and the Star Wars you know, universe. And then just, I, I really hope, I mean, my point of pointing out my age in the beginning and this is, People that are, I think, into Star Wars are passionate fans like me that are 50 years old, 40 years old, 45 years old, or they were really passionate about the prequels. And they're they're gonna watch, they're gonna be in there for Andor, for all the stuff that's been coming out with Disney Plus. And just, it, it, it's just, it's really gonna, you know, hit medium to lukewarm and we're gonna say hey that was fun but it's not gonna get the views and the hype that they hope for I, I don't see people going out and subscribing to Disney Plus just to see this show I mean there are friends of mine who are like eh, but see it's just again the lightning striking twice being Mandalorian it, it just had this perfect soup of the the nostalgia of the Mandalorians the Boba Fett people were like curious is this Boba Fett who is this who is this guy in this cool armor and then the hype started with the Yoda little baby Yoda the cuteness factor and then it was the pandemic and we were all trapped at home you know and you we just had you know only so many options well we had whatever streaming television it just was the perfect storm to just skyrocket that show to the stratosphere and it just i am really worried about the i mean they're really pushing it see right here the, the 80s nostalgia just mm, they're really pushing it and i even pointed out in one of my previous videos that they were like boom 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 taken off of, of like Ferris Bueller and it was like what are you in for and it it just what it mm, just yeah, just too many they were already dropping too many like cringe moments in the trailer but man I really hope they pull this off they got the 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 uh the, the Wolfman guy, I mean, they're recycling some cool background characters from the cantina. So you kind of kind of got that Wolfman character coming out. The Pirates, Pirates theme is good. Now, this could attract kids and whatever people, you know, have kids and, they, and the kids could run with it and it could be a phenomenon. I don't know, I really hope so. I really hope that the kids of our generation get a type of Star Wars. I, I I just there are so many YouTubers out there that are just just bash bash bash. I really hope I'm not one of them in the next couple couple weeks. 
You know, and that's but the other thing is that Star Wars fans are brutal. They're brutal. So just man, I really have high hopes that they can pull this off. You know, I'm really excited for Andor because I think that has the grittiness and the OG flavor of what Star Wars, you know, has been. The 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 comedy esqueness of Star Wars has always been fun and great. I just mmm, yeah. So that's it, that's a wrap. I'll see if I use this take for a video. I gotta get this out there before Skeleton Crew debuts. So those are my thoughts. May the force be with you. Let's see what happened, folks. Here we go. Please subscribe. That's a wrap, folks. Please subscribe, 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 subscribe. It really helps out my channel. I have over 100,000 watch hours. I've had my channel for 14 years. I can't get monetized until I get to 500 subscribers. We're really close. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you.